Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. This is the day the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a wonderful day. This is a marvelous day. This is a day that we've never seen before. And having therefore obtained help from God, we continue unto this day witnessing to those both great and small. Good morning to each of you. It's high time to pray with Pastor Val. Amen. We're so grateful that you're joining us this morning on our live to share the good news. Amen. That God is yet on the throne. Hallelujah. He have done wonderful and marvelous things for us, whereof we are glad. And having therefore obtained help from God, we continue unto this day witnessing. Amen to those all across this world because it is of the goodness of God. And we're grateful to see you this morning. Good morning, Mother Williams. Hallelujah. Good to see you in the house. Amen to Pat and to each of you that are chiming in this morning. We're going forward in God doing the things that he have appointed us to do and encouraged us to do, to share, to build up the body of Christ. And this morning, we're yet in the book of Galatians. We were chapter three, and we'll have verses 17 and 18 today. And today, uh, we'll be speaking on our focus as we pray, the promise of salvation preceded the giving of the law. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful this morning. Hallelujah. That God have given us the promise. Hallelujah. Because we know that all God's promises, hallelujah, are yea and amen. Good morning, Brother Emery. God bless you. So grateful to see you this morning. Amen. Missionary Mosby and Brother Abram, we are in the house loving on the Lord and doing what he has commissioned us to do. Amen. Throughout this land and having therefore obtained help from God, we continue. Hallelujah. That's one of my favorite verses. You'll hear it over and over again because it's of the Lord's goodness that we are not consumed. And we're so grateful that the Lord yet sees fit, hallelujah, to continue to grace us, just to continue on, to continue the journey, to continue the journey, Evangelist Harper, and we do it with the spirit of love. Why? Because God is love. And we love the Lord and he continues to do great and marvelous things for us. And we are just so grateful that the Lord included us in this plan of salvation. Therefore, we're going on with our prayer. So I'm going to ask you to pray with me on this morning as we, hallelujah, approach the throne of grace. How many of you know we need grace? <laughs> oh, yes, we do to continue even this journey. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for you are our God. Hallelujah. Without you, hallelujah, there is none other. Hallelujah. You are the supreme. You are the almighty. And we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. For loving us, awaking us this morning to the sound of beautiful rain. Hallelujah. Thank you for the rain this morning. Hallelujah. That not only sounds wonderful to our ears, but is nourishing our grass, our flowers, and we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, to calm the heat. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah. We thank you because you're so good and you're so considerate, so mindful of us, hallelujah. You're, uh, we thank you, Lord, because you are 
hallelujah, the keeper of our souls. And we thank you, Lord, that you have not left us without a witness. Hallelujah. We thank you for your word. Mm. Hallelujah, that we know that if we abide in you and stay in the word, hallelujah, that you're going to help us to be like a tree, hallelujah, by the rivers, hallelujah, that shall not be moved. And that is our goal this morning, not to be moved. We shall not be moved. Hallelujah, because we're like a tree planted by the rivers of the water, and we shall not be moved. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That as we, hallelujah, pray, hallelujah, these verses of scripture, hallelujah, that you will give us the insight, the wisdom, hallelujah, what to say. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable with thee, Lord, because you're our strength, you're our redeemer, and we look to you. Hallelujah. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. And we're excited, God, hallelujah, that you have chosen us. Because as we state every time, you could have chose anybody's mother, sister, daughter, brother, father, uncle, aunt. Hallelujah. But you chose us. And we're mighty grateful even to have the opportunity to be on this live this morning. Hallelujah. Awake in our right mind, that is a mind to seek and to serve you. Oh God, we're grateful this morning and we're thankful, hallelujah, for all that you've done for us since we last met. Oh God, we thank you for peace. Hallelujah, we thank you for those that love your word and study your word that encourages us, hallelujah, to continue to stay in the race. Oh God, we thank you, hallelujah, because we know that iron sharpeneth iron. And we thank you for our relatives and loved ones that when we talk to them, hallelujah, that they can give us the unadulterated word, hallelujah, the truth, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, because we know that you have not forgot about us. Hallelujah, your word is rich, hallelujah, and is powerful and is sharper than any two-edged sword. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you are our God and that there's none like you. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that as we go forward, hallelujah, declaring this word, hallelujah, crying loud, spare not, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, hallelujah, that you will help people to realize that you are the savior of the world. Hallelujah. Mm. And I'm so grateful, Lord, that you brought salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you said with your own arm. Hallelujah. You brought salvation. Hallelujah. You wrapped yourself in flesh and came down through 42 generations. Hallelujah. That you and I might be saved. And for that this morning, we said thank you because we're mighty, mighty grateful. Oh, God, we don't take it for granted, hallelujah, that you are loving on us. And Father, it is our prayer this morning, hallelujah, that as we pray your word, hallelujah, that this promise of salvation, which proceeding out of the giving of the law, will help us, Lord, to be more stronger in you, knowing that all of your promises are yea, yes, yes, and amen, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, because you are our savior, hallelujah. You are the savior of the world. And as we pray, Lord Jesus, according to your word, hallelujah, according to the scripture, hallelujah, in Luke 2, 11, it says, for unto us, hallelujah, for unto you unto me hallelujah is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ our lord father we thank you lord that we know that you are the one hallelujah that we should follow it's because of you you are the savior of the world oh god and we thank you for knowing that you are the savior of the world hallelujah 
and we pray the word and know his truth according to Luke 19, 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost, that which was lost. And Father, we know without a shadow of a doubt, hallelujah, as we were born in sin, hallelujah, that we were lost. But it was you that came along, hallelujah, and your blood, hallelujah, gave us a blood transfusion, I say, hallelujah, changed our thoughts. Ha! Oh, God, changed our heart, hallelujah, gave us a heart of flesh, hallelujah, where not only we could love you, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, but we could love our sister and our brother. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, for being the savior of the world. And we thank you this morning, Lord, hallelujah, that you saved us, hallelujah, picked us up out of the miry clay, gave us a testimony, hallelujah, that we can say that the Lord saved me, hallelujah. And I'm thinking about my mother this morning, hallelujah, her testimony would be, and you placed me here on this earth to be a witness for you. Let the church shout, hallelujah, if you're a witness for the Lord, hallelujah. I type in your comment line, I'm a witness for the Lord, hallelujah. I'm a sanctified witness for the Lord. As I said before, I'm one of them today. Hallelujah. Praises to God. Ah, the Bible declares as we pray the word according to John 3, 17, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, hmm? but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. That's the reason why Jesus came, to save the world from their sins. So when you see folks sinning and going on and thinking they all of that in a bag of chips, you need to let them know God came. Hallelujah. Sent his son, Jesus, to save you from your sins. Why? Because he wants us to escape death, damnation in the pit of hell. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. But I want to go to heaven and I want everybody that I know to go to heaven. Everybody that I don't know. Hallelujah. That's under the sound of my voice that hears this video, that hears this live stream. I want you to know this morning that we have a savior that can save you from your sins. You don't have to have but I can't help it this morning. Come on here, somebody. You said, well, Pastor Val, I can't help it. I just got to cheat. I can't help it. Well, I know a Savior, mm, and his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He can help you. Hallelujah. From lying, cheating, fornicating, committing adultery, drinking, smoking, cussing, doping. Hallelujah. Ah, coveting your neighbor's wife property. This God is all of that and so much more. You talking about you want to be connected with a friend, hallelujah, that can help you in the midnight hour. And you don't even have to dial or punch a number. All you have to do is call his name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. The sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. And he'll be there. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. To rescue you. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, he's so awesome till he have his angels on assignment and camping round about you. Hallelujah. I tell you this morning, Sister Charlotte, hallelujah, Sister Lori, it's just important to know who you are in covenant with, because our God is so awesome, his angels, ha, glory, encamp all around us. I tell you, Sis Lucille, there's nobody, hallelujah, like our God, hallelujah, He's sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. Come on, somebody. 
Hallelujah. He is all of that and so much more. Let the church shout glory. Mm. Abba, glory. Hallelujah. We continue to pray according to the word of God. Hallelujah. John 3, 17 declares, hallelujah, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. And we're grateful. Hallelujah. That we accept it. Hallelujah. The nudging at our heart, the tugging at our heart when he was saying, come on, daughter, I love you. Hallelujah. I'll give you an everlasting love. Hallelujah. Ah, because sometimes we get hooked up with these twisted people. Hallelujah. Who will love you. Hallelujah. While you're going down the aisle. Who will love you through the honeymoon. Hallelujah. As I'm reminded of this one pastor lady. Hallelujah. She said she thought this man was all of that and so much more. Hallelujah. But after the honeymoon. Hallelujah. He showed her just who he was. Hallelujah. And it was all a setup to take over everything that she had. Hallelujah. I'm telling you today is some fake people out here. That's why you have to have your antennas. Hallelujah. Up your spiritual antennas sharpened. Hallelujah. That you can see. Hallelujah. These devils in these three piece suits and these devils, hallelujah, in these silk long dresses, hallelujah, with their little taffetas on their head, hallelujah, that you can see them for just who they are. Hallelujah. Because today there are many false prophets and sheep in wool clothing. Let the church shout hallelujah. Mm. Ah, the Bible says, as we preach and teach and pray the word of God, according to Acts 5, 31. Mm. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Mm. Zion, I'm so glad this morning that the Lord saved me. Hallelujah. How about you? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I don't have to be looking over my shoulder, seeing if somebody's seeing if I'm doing something right or wrong. Hallelujah. But whatever, it's all good. Hallelujah. Ah, because God is a keeper of his word. God is is the savior of the world. Hallelujah. Make sure you get it right this morning. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ, hallelujah, is the savior of the world. He came to earth. Hallelujah. To be our savior. You ought to type that in your chat this morning, that Jesus came to earth to be our savior. And we're mighty, mighty, mighty glad about that. Hallelujah. And as we continue to pray the word according to 1 Timothy 1.15, mm, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. And you know, Apostle Paul, he didn't have no shame in his game. He let you know. Off the top, I'm the chief of sinners. Hey, y'all talking about y'all sanctified. I used to kill you. Hallelujah. And be glad about it. Thought I was doing that, which was right. Hallelujah. But I had an experience. Hallelujah. With Jesus Christ on my road to Damascus. Hallelujah. Ah, I can appreciate Apostle Paul because some of y'all know. Hallelujah. We was probably next in line as the chief sinner. Hallelujah. Ah, but God saw fit, hallelujah, to save us from being on that road to destruction. Hallelujah. It's like a spiral. Hallelujah. Going down with the devil just have you. He's just taking you down, down, down. Hallelujah. And he'll wave all of that flashy stuff in your face. 
hallelujah, thinking you're doing something and getting something. And when you really check it out, it's nothing. Hallelujah. But thanks be unto God. Come on, Zion. Help me pray this morning. <laughs> thanks be unto God, which gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, we're grateful this morning. Hallelujah. Ah, trustee Lee, that God continues to see us and share his grace upon us and with us. There's nobody like our God. Let the church shout hallelujah. Mm. Ah, as we pray the word of God this morning, Sister Ford, Hebrews 7, 25 declares, wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto him that come, excuse me, unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for us. I tell you, Jesus Christ is standing in the gap for you and for me. As a matter of fact, he's so awesome till the Bible declares that Jesus knew that Satan desired to sift us as sweet. Ah, but the Bible said, like he told Peter, <laughs> I've already prayed for you. Come on, type it in your chat this morning. Say, I've already prayed for you. I thank God this morning for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That have already prayed for me. He's already made intercession for you and for me. Hallelujah. We're a blessed people, Zion. That's why we have to stay in the race. The race is not given to the swift or the strong, but it's to him that endureth to the end. Because sometimes our physical strength, it may get a little weak. Hallelujah. And I'm a witness to that because I knew, hallelujah, when I was in the midst of my illness or in the midst of the illness that Satan attacked with me, me with. Hallelujah. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. I had my weight had dropped down to about 92 pounds. Hallelujah. I was just a rag doll. Hallelujah. I guess Satan thought he had me. But hallelujah, I declare the saints, my mother, father, sister, brother, prayed for me. And God brought me out. Mm. And I'm here this morning to tell you that I'm one of them today. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God will not leave you. He said in his word, I don't care how dark it looks. Hallelujah. I, it matters not how it seems as if you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death. You have to realize it's only a shadow and your God is with you because he said in his word, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. Let the church of the living God shout hallelujah. Ah, we're thankful this morning that we have a savior <laughs> that came to this earth, hallelujah, to save us because we were a lost people. We were lost. And he so fit mm. to save us. I declare we ought to shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear. Hallelujah. That we have this covenant. Hallelujah. With Christ Jesus. And it declares this promise of salvation preceded the giving of the law. Hallelujah. And our prayer this morning is, Lord, help us to grace it. Help us to get this revelation. Hallelujah. This was already in the plan. God didn't just think of, oh, well, Adam, he ate the fruit. Oh, I got to think of something to do. Oh, no. Honey, our God, hallelujah, knows the end to the beginning. Come on here, hallelujah. This plan of salvation. Was already thought out. You ought to shout hallelujah this morning. 
Ah, we bless the name of the Lord because he is, hallelujah, all of that and so much more. Hallelujah. We thank you, hallelujah, that, hey, Moses was obedient, hallelujah, listened to his voice, hallelujah, went up on the mound, received the Ten Commandments. Hey, we thank God for that. Hallelujah. Ah, but he's given us, hallelujah, a New Testament, hallelujah, a better way, hallelujah. And we are mighty grateful, mighty grateful this morning, hallelujah, as we continue to pray, hallelujah, the word of God. And we pray according to 1 Kings 8, 56, hallelujah, because our God is trustworthy. We can put our foot on it, take it to the bank. Hallelujah. To know without a shadow of a doubt, if he said it, tell somebody it's all good. Hallelujah. And I know we say that. Hallelujah. Among each other. Oh, girl, it, it's all good. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you as a witness for sure, if God said it mm, <clears throat> in his word this morning, it's all good. Hallelujah. Just stand on his promise and wait on him. Hallelujah. First Kings 8, 56, as we pray, his word declares, blessed be the Lord mm, that hath given rest unto his people Israel, according to all he promised. Mm, there hath not failed one word. Somebody help me shout one this morning. <clears throat> One word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. I tell you today, I tell you this morning, hallelujah, that not a word mm, he said, hallelujah, not a promise he stated, hallelujah, shall fall to the ground. It's all truth, hallelujah. And whatever he said, hallelujah, I was thinking the other day, the promises that God had given me. And I'm like, Lord, now, you know, it's getting kind of late in the day. You know, I'm getting on up there. I'll be 64 years old here in a few months. Now, come on, Lord, what's going on? And you know what the Lord told me? He said, daughter, I'm not a man <laughs> that I should lie. If I promise to, to you, it shall come to pass. And as I heard one preacher say, and I say it again, all of God's shells are fully loaded. <laughs> oh my God, you better believe it's enough powder that will blow it up. Hallelujah. And I thank God today that I can rest assured in the promises of God. Hallelujah. That are yea and amen. All of his promises is sure. Hallelujah. And, you know, I shared some of the promises uh, with not only my family, hallelujah, with, but with the members of the church. And some of them just seen the promises that God had given me just seem way out there. You know, they seem so huge till you know it's nothing I can do of my own. Hallelujah. But it's a promise for God. Hallelujah. And I just thank God that I have enough grace to wait on the promise. God said in his word, and this is to all of you, hallelujah, that he was going to restore unto you the years the palmer worms, locusts, canker worms, caterpillars have eaten. He said, I'm going to restore it unto you. Why? Because he's a covenant keeping God. <laughs> he's a promise keeping God. Oh, you ought to be happy in the Lord this morning because he keeps all of his promises. Hallelujah. Ah, we pray according to the scripture, Psalm 1, 11, 7. It declares the works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. I declare it's, it's, it's written. It's in your Bible too. If ain't nobody tore out the page. Hallelujah. All of them are sure. You can take it to the bank, as we say in this uh, society. Hallelujah. You can take it to the bank because this is real. Ha! Oh my God, Lord, we thank you. We pray according to Ezekiel 12, 25, for I am the Lord. 
I will speak. And the word that I shall speak hmm, shall come to pass. Did you hear that? <laughs> the word that our Lord speaks, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. It shall be no more prolonged in your days. Hallelujah. Oh, rebellious house. Will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord God. Mm. Zion, if he shared something with you, if he told you something, hold on to it. I don't care how it looks. Hallelujah. How it looks. Hallelujah. I remember, and I'm going to share this to the glory of God. I'm certain my cousin Pat won't mind. Hallelujah, because we wrote a little mini story about it. Hallelujah. It hasn't been published yet, but I believe, you know, the Lord is leading me to do that. Hallelujah. She had called me and said, Val, I want you to come to town. It's just something I want to share with you, want to talk with you. So I got my sister Darlene because I really don't like to travel alone. And uh, she had just got out the hospital from a stroke. And I'm like, girl, we got to go. I said, Trish, want me to come? I said, we got to go. So I got it arranged. I was working at that time with my employer to be off these few days. And as we were traveling at that time, 9-11 uh, had not too long passed. And oh boy, they were checking you from head to toe. So we had a little laugh because my sister had on these shoes that when she went through the uh, monitor, beep, 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 it went off. And she was just looking all alarmed. What is it? Because at that time, you didn't take off your shoes. You know, they hadn't instituted that. But later on, of course, they did. And so they had her to uh, sit down and take off her shoes, you know, because she was still a little slow, you know, from the stroke. And she was going on and uh, like, what's wrong? What's wrong? You know, she was thinking they were going to arrest her. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so they cleared her, you know, because it was something in the shoe, you know, so they knew, you know, she wasn't trying to slip nothing through. But when, when we got to uh, D.C. where my uh, cousin was, we were just going on laughing and talking. And we were uh, I were telling her, I said, yeah, they was going to arrest Darlene. I said, because she was trying to hide something. In her shoe. I said she was looking like a little old lady sitting down there like, what's going on? What's going on? But anyway, the uh, the matter of the story is that I want to share with you. We were, um, we had been there a day or so, and I'm like, you know, she ain't really told me nothing yet. What's going on? So then she got real sick. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, well, you know, can we take you to the hospital? She didn't want to go to the hospital. I mean, and she was sick. And so I thought, well, hey, we got to do some prayer. So we prayed and anointed her with oil. She was still very low sick. Hallelujah. And then I said, well, hey, we must need some more angels. Hallelujah. Let me call my mother. Hallelujah. Called her. She went into prayer and intercession. Hallelujah. And so about an hour or so later, Trish got up. She said, I feel fine. Hallelujah. I said, well, thanks be unto God. Because we were going to go out. You know, it was still early. And she got in the car and was driving down the highway. And lo and behold, you know, I'm just talking because I'm somewhat talkative. Hallelujah. And I was just talking to her. You know, I was in the back seat. My sister was in the front uh, passenger seat. And Trish was driving. And I was talking to her. And Trish wasn't responding to me. And I'm thinking, I know this girl ain't ignoring me. And I don't flew from uh, Gary, Indiana up here to, to uh, hear what she has to say and she's ignoring me. That's what I said in my spirit. And, you know, because I had asked her two or three things and she was just, and all of a sudden her head turned around and she started foaming at the mouth. Hallelujah. And I'm like, what the what? I leaped over the wheel. I'm telling you, leaped over the seat to grab the wheel. And my sister, who was a registered nurse, I'm like, what is going on? And I thought right quick, I'm like, Lord, because this highway, it was a four-lane highway. I understand it's the busiest highway in D.C. Their cars were just going like this. I mean, up and down the highway. 
And I'm thinking, Lord, I know you ain't letting me going out like this. All these promises you have given me, I know. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. I, my Holy Ghost, honey, stood up. Hallelujah. And I was leaped over the wheel. Hallelujah. Of the car. You know, God I said, doll, I said, we got to get over. I said, we got to get over. And those cars were just coming like this because she was in the fastest lane. Mm. Oh, my God. Honey, I had knocked her all down over to the side of the front seat. And I was still driving the car from the back seat. And I said, doll, and I know that was the leg, uh, the left side, she had the struggle. And I said, you got to put your leg over and hit this brake when I tell you to hit the brake. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm getting excited talking about it right now. The power of God. Let me tell you, Zion, as I was going forth, hallelujah, God, and that wheel, every time I look back once, I look back twice, you know, waiting for the traffic to see when I could get over. I felt like we were star skiing hutch a little bit. Hallelujah. We were going for it. And sure enough, hallelujah, I think it was about the fourth time I looked back. It wasn't a car in sight, Zion. <laughs> Glory be to God. I said, that's it. I said, push, stop pressing the brake. We going over. I said, ah. honey, we got over to the side of the road. Soon as we got over to the side of the road, Zion, those cars start coming just like that. I tell you, God can stop traffic for you. Come on here, Zion. Do you believe me? Hallelujah, this morning that your God can stop traffic on a four-lane highway so that you could get across, hallelujah, to save the life of your family. He stopped traffic, and when we got over, my uh, cousin Pat had this little uh, BMW, I think that's what they call them, and I never had a car like that, hallelujah. I, I, and uh, and uh, so when we got over, it was this little man, hallelujah, with all white on and he had on shades, little white man. He was perched down at the uh, driver's set. I'm thinking to myself, how this little guy get here? We just got, I mean, it was like instantly. And he said, unlock the car, ma'am. Like, who the heck is he talking to? And that's what I said in my spirit. And my sister could not unlock the car door, but she was sitting in front. And so finally she got it. Hallelujah. I guess she was nervous because I believe she owned a BMW even at this time. And so once he uh, she unlocked the door, hallelujah, and uh, the guy opened the door and uh, I said she just felt she just she just it was started forming and, you know, uh, whatever. I couldn't hardly explain. I was so excited. Mm. Honey, I tell you, he spoke to me. And he said, because I had got out the car and I was pulled, booched over, you know, with my behind sticking out. And he said, ma'am, he said, would you go over there to the side of the uh, the road? Would you go over there and uh, I'll take it from here? And I'm thinking to myself, who is this? But for some reason, he just calmed my spirit. Hallelujah. And I obeyed him and did that. Hallelujah. And I got on the phone. I called my mother. I called her dad. And uh, right away, he told us, he said, I've already called for the ambulance. <laughs> really? You know? And so he and my sister, they were saying, I can't find a post. Can't find a post. Hallelujah. By this time, the ambulance, fire trucks, I mean, honey, we, we was on, we weren't on the news, but we had the news this day. And sure enough, Hallelujah, they took her to the hospital and she had had, you know, a seizure. And the doctors and uh, the nurses told us that you all say not only her life, yours, your lives, but so many lives, because this could have been a tragic accident. But I said to God be the glory. Hallelujah. And that was the name of the little short story that uh, we had wrote. To God be the glory. Hallelujah, because he spared our lives. I remember going to work that Monday and I was telling the story. They just wanted me to keep telling it over and over and over because I was so dramatic, you know, because it was still so fresh in my mind. But even now, hallelujah, I'm getting excited. Hallelujah, getting so excited. Hallelujah. But I just want to share with you that God keeps his promises. He'll never leave you. 
He'll never forsake you. Hallelujah. When you're in the midst of danger, you have to know he's already there. I guarantee you by the time they put that child in the ambulance, hallelujah, we looked around for that little fella. He was nowhere in sight. As a matter of fact, even when he perched down there, there was no car in front of us or back of us. So we knew it had to be an angel. Hallelujah from heaven. Hallelujah. And I can tell you so much more. But that same little fella came to rescue me. Hallelujah. I declare he must have been my angel. Hallelujah. But let me pray just a little bit more because I tell us out. But God, honey, I'm going to tell you, I know that God is a keeper of his word. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, he is. And all of us, hallelujah, thank the Lord that he is a keeper of his word. Hallelujah. He's not going to let you go out prematurely. Hallelujah. Before your time, before he shows you. Hallelujah. I said it and it shall come to pass. And as we pray, hallelujah, and I have to close out Psalm 111.7. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. Get it right, Zion. All of his commandments are sure. We pray Matthew 5, 18, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. God's word, Zion, mm, it's on point. Hallelujah. You might as well get with it. Hallelujah. You talking about you want to be somebody? Well, if you really want to be somebody, you better get with the word of truth because that's the only thing that's going to stand in this last wicked day. Perilous times. Uh, they're already here. Hallelujah. I don't have to tell you about it. Some of you have experienced some traumatic situations in your family. Hallelujah. Received a call on yesterday about a traumatic situation. I declare and another thing, hallelujah, make sure you watch what you say. Watch your words. See, because some of you think you'll be telling somebody, oh, hallelujah, but you're speaking your own destiny. So watch what you say, because words do have power. They have life. Hallelujah. And sometimes when you're saying all of this foolish, crazy stuff, thinking you're telling somebody, oh, and then it come to pass and you, huh, huh, well, you don't want to spoke it. Hallelujah. Oh, let's pray, Zion. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Ah, Luke 21, 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Zion, God's word are going to stand forever and forever. Let the church shout hallelujah. Oh, my, oh, my. We have so much more. Let me see if I could just hit a little bit. Hallelujah, of the spiritual heritage that we have with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because it is real. Hallelujah. Tell somebody it's on top and rise and hallelujah It's popping today. Hallelujah. And we pray according to Psalm 61, 5. For thou, O God, has heard my vows. Thou has given me the heritage of those that fear the name thy name hallelujah you ought to teach your children about the name of the lord jesus christ it's time out for them listening hallelujah to all this old music hallelujah this rap music they know how to be bop and that she's a b and she better f this what the what listen you better start teaching him the books of the bible hallelujah that we, we, we start learning hallelujah teaching the books of the bible Teach them how to say the books of the Bible. Teach them how to pray. Hallelujah. I uh, know it's right. It's tight, but it's right. Hallelujah. Uh, we pray according to Acts 20, 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, who is able to build you up and to give you inheritance among them that which are sanctified. That's where you want your inheritance to be. Among them that are sanctified. I declare, Zion, our time is out, and we pray, hallelujah, for our nation, surrounding nations, hallelujah, for our president, all elected officials, 
Hallelujah. We pray, hallelujah, that in this prayer, hallelujah, that something has been said to edify you, to build you up in the most holy faith. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that God continue to keep you. Hallelujah. That God continues, hallelujah, to give to you the revelation. Hallelujah. That the promise, hallelujah, of salvation, mm, hallelujah, preceding the giving of the law. God had it already worked out. Hallelujah. And we thank God today that as we pray that each of you have a blessed week. Hallelujah. And that you'll continue. Hallelujah. To like and share this video so that your family and friends would know. Hallelujah. That it's time for them to believe the word of God, to repent of their sins. Hallelujah. To be baptized in his name, Jesus Christ, and to be filled with his Holy Spirit. That's going to help us to live that clean and sanctified life. We won't want to do what Johnny and Susie and Tom, Dick and Harry do, but we want to do what our Jesus Christ did because he was the perfect example. Father, we thank you today that you are all of that. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, that you have chosen us. Hallelujah. To be a part of this life in the kingdom. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And in Jesus name is our prayer. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, Facebook family. Well, you can see I got worked up today. Hallelujah. I didn't get to tell you the whole version of the story, but maybe we'll get that little book printed. Hallelujah. Because I tell you, it was powerful, the details of it. Hallelujah. And it's powerful to know that God is the keeper. He sees and he knows, hallelujah, what is going to happen. Hallelujah. And I tell you today, hallelujah, that lady, my cousin Pat, she's yet living, thriving. Hallelujah. She's the one that uh, is the producer of all these videos and all the um, flyers and so forth that you see. She's a gifted child. Hallelujah. So God knows what he's doing. And I just thank the Lord today. Hallelujah for each of you. And I pray that as you go forward in God, that you have a blessed and a spiritual week. And may you always remember, hallelujah, to put God first. Put him first in everything that you do. Hallelujah. And I know this uh, spiritual uh, experience have been a blessing to you today. Feel free to sow as the Lord encourages you and urges you in your spirit to sow. Hallelujah. The different methods you can sow into the kingdom are documented below. That God grace you to have a spiritual day. And it is my prayer, hallelujah, that as you go forward in God, that he will continue to blow, to breathe on you. Hallelujah. And let you know the direction you should go as he secures you. Hallelujah in your destiny. This has been Pastor Val, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, declaring it's high time to pray. It's high time to pray. Until we meet again, always know I love you. I appreciate all that you do. I appreciate your faithfulness for tuning in with me. Hallelujah. Stay safe and shalom. Bye-bye.